Hello all of you. So in today's class, we'll be learning how to install MySQL server and workbench. So MySQL uh, server um, is the backend and MySQL workbench can be considered as to be an integrated development environment or the place where we'll be working in and we'll be writing our codes um, where we'll be analyzing and dealing with different data sets. So in this class, we'll be just uh, concerned about how we can install um, both MySQL Workbench and Server. I have made the entire PDF for you all. You just have to follow the steps. I will follow the PDF myself. I will show you all how we can start. You need a good internet connection for the download and installation of the MySQL Server and Workbench. That was the first thing. It might take you several minutes to do so, um, but make sure that you have the proper internet connection uh, before starting your download process. Right? So let's start uh, you can download from this given particular link so I'll straight away click on this link uh, or you all can go and type MySQL download and the first link which you get will take you to the MySQL download uh, community downloads right or you can straight away click on the link which I have given you all via the PDF all right now the next thing is they ask you to uh, create an account oracle account if you do not have one you can create an account or if you already have one you can just quickly sign up into the account however i don't want to create so i'll click on no thanks just start my download the moment i click on this you can see mysql installer this mysql installer is basically uh, uh, executable file which I am downloading once I once it has been downloaded um, it will take some time because it is 428 MB so once this file is downloaded I will uh, move across different steps as to how you can execute and install um, MySQL server and workbench from this installer right so let's just quickly uh, like just wait for one or two minutes for this to get downloaded um, it is very important that you all have this ready before the next class because we'll be straight away jumping into MySQL workbench where we'll be um, starting with our codes Depending on your internet um, capacity, your internet speed, um, this will the file will be downloaded. However, it might take two to three minutes for this to get installed, this to get downloaded, and then obviously we we'll run this and install um, the MySQL workbench and server. All right, so as you all can see, it's almost there. I will not go through the PDF because um, I know how to download. If you miss any step in between, make sure you have the PDF with yourself um, while installing and downloading the software. Okay, so it's almost done. This particular file, uh, executable file, will be in your downloads section as you all can see over here. My SQL installer community. So I'll just double click on this. It will take another few moments. Do you want to allow this app to make changes? You will click on yes. You will click on yes. Another six, seven minute, uh, seconds. Okay, so we have MySQL installer. Now over here, as you all can see, there are few setup which is required so it uh, needs a few steps to be performed before we uh, reach to our final step so make sure you do not make any kind of mistake because if you're making any mistake in between you might end up not getting the correct uh, version or the correct requirement of the mysql workbench so here i uh, the setup that i need is custom so i don't want anything else so i'll just click on next then here I need to select the products and features which I want to 
download or install so here I need my SQL server so just click on this plus sign click on this plus sign and here take the first one click on this and move to the right click on this arrow so you can see I have selected the product MySQL server which is 64 bit um, now almost all the desktop and PCs have 64 bit version this is to be installed another thing which needs to be installed is the MySQL um, workbench right so what I'll do is again I'll click on this applications I'll click on MySQL workbench and again I'll click on this MySQL workbench and click on the right arrow so basically these two things mysql server and workbench both of these are 62 bit 64 bit sorry which i need to be which i need to be uh, installed now next again click on next it will take you to the installation stage um, this again will take some time so you have to click on execute the moment you click on execute you can see the mysql server has started to install and uh, this is the progress it will again take some um, one or two minutes for this to get installed and then next your workbench will be installed so it's almost complete again it depends on the speed of your tool now for most of us uh, at this particular stage um, both the executions will be completed but for some of us for whom this particular stage will not um, get executed you might get an error uh, saying that you do not have visual C in your laptop or PC in that case um, this is the link I'll just show you to you all you just have to move to the fourth um, fifth or sixth page um, right so third page of your um, document so here what you have to do is you have to click on this link visual C link this link will take you to visual C downloading and you have to download and install visual C if and only if you are getting any error in this particular place for most of us you will not get an error if by chance you get an error where they will see that visual C is missing in your PC or desktop if you are using some older versions then you can move to page 3 of the PDF which I have shared click on this link and you can download it uh, and then again you can come back to this particular step right it will otherwise not be an issue then I will just click on next again so here uh, once you have clicked on next here it will take you um, where it will ask you for the different steps right so as you all can see we have high availability type and networking so authentication and there are different multiple steps that needs to be executed so over here the first one keep it first standalone mysql server because we'll be just using for the education purposes so we do not need any client app so i'll just click on standalone mysql server click on next the next thing which uh, they'll ask you is type and networking over here again you don't have to make any kind of changes make sure this is there and then again I can you need the development computer so you don't need any other configuration type I'll click on next now we are in the authentication step so in the authentication step by default use strong password encryption for authentication this is by default set this is there if you need to work SQL for your config if there is any confidential data which you are dealing with but here we are uh, dealing we are learning MySQL for educational purposes and this is the learning stage that is going on so you can just click click on use legacy authentication method you don't need any strong password although towards the end we'll have to set one particular password which you'll have to remember for sure but for the time being we can use the legacy authentication method then I'll click on next again now here they will ask you to set the password and make sure whatever password you set you remember that otherwise you will not be able to access MySQL workbench so I'll uh, be setting the password for me um, again make sure 
okay so i have set the password for me again make sure your password you remember you can write it down because otherwise it will be again an issue if you are not able to remember your password you will not be able to access your mysql workbench now once i click on next again we move to the windows service section now here in the windows service again don't make any changes keep it as it is and click click on the next button right then we have apply configuration so here again i don't need anything else now it's almost there you have to click on execute and you can see how the steps writing configuration files updating windows how all these are getting um ticked one, one by one uh, it again will take some time it may take 2 to 3 minutes again over here um to complete so make sure you do not skip any step and it's all done so now we can just click on finish the moment you click on finish you can see that my sql server the configuration is complete right so it shows that my sql server is complete i can click on next again and i'll click on so start my sql workbench after setup if this particular button is ticked then what will happen the moment i click on finish you will see that it will automatically open my workbench right so i'll click on finish the moment you click on finish as you all can see by welcome to my sql workbench if you untick that button then this particular application will not open on its own however i have just ticked it so that i can see that yes everything has worked correctly and i have my workbench ready for me to work now let us quickly just understand how to deal with this so over here this uh, what do you see is my sql connections so there are different connections which we can create however for the time being we'll be using the um, local host when i'll click on this it will ask me for the same password which i had created earlier so make sure you remember your password over here right and you can save it for later on and click on okay the moment you click on okay it will take you to the entire mysql workbench this is how it looks like here we will be uh, writing different queries uh, we call the codes as queries in my uh, sql that is how we refer to it here we have the output section here we have the navigator and here there are buttons using which you can control the interface so if you do not want the navigator you can just click on this icon and your navigator is gone if you do not need the output section you can just click on this your output section is gone if you do not need the mysql additions you can click on this and your additions tab will be gone here we have different tabs which we will be learning in the next class and different icons as we all can see so this is how your mysql uh, workbench should look like and this is the place where we'll be writing different queries in the next class so thank you so much um, you all can use this particular pdf all the steps are mentioned however it's very important to follow the steps which i have told you in the uh, video so for the next class make sure this is ready and we can straight away jump into the queries portion thank you so much